time-lapse photography, the ultimate cinematic experience. Through the looking glass of time, we get to see the world from a different perspective. There's nothing quite like watching a beautifully high-definition, smooth shot of a city skyline with beautiful golden light and impressive weather system movements until it gets ruined by a bird. These flappy little bastards take you out of that cinematic experience, they ruin the shot, and they need to be removed, they need to be deleted. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that in two different ways. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is... That was a horrible one. I'm not even gonna bother trying that again. So the first method is the simplest method. It is also the worst method because it leaves artifacts, but it is very, very simple. You can do it in Final Cut Pro or in Premiere. And all you have to do is find your shot with your birds, duplicate that shot on top of each other, slip it, slip it forward or backwards one frame and then change the blend honestly and then change and then change the blending mode to lighten this will compare the two shots find which pixels are brighter and use those pixels instead of the darker pixels obviously this works for dark silhouetted birds against the bright sky or alternatively it works for bright airplane trails or heli trails in a shot that you made at night now that was the easy one the issue with this one is that it leaves artifacts. As you can see in this shot, these clouds look slightly different, and that is the downside of the easy and the simple method. That being said, I've still used this method quite a lot, including in my video, The Cloud Palace, which you should watch if you haven't seen it already. The second method, we're gonna use After Effects. It's a little bit more complicated, but it is much, much better. Here's how to do it. In After Effects, you're going to put your time-lapse clip into a sequence. In that sequence, you're going to double-click that layer or that shot, which opens up the layer viewer. Then you select the Clone Stamp tool and go to the Paint tab and use the following settings. Pretty much what you're going to do here is use the Clone Stamp tool just like in Photoshop, but instead of cloning and stamping it from another position, you're going to clone and stamp it from another point in time, one frame forward or one frame backward. If there's not too much movement in your sky, this will be completely unnoticeable and will leave no artifacts. Also, it's important that you only paste this for one frame only, which is why it's important that you copy the settings that I showed you earlier. I'll put them on screen again. And there you have it. This is the best way to remove birds or other artifacts from your time-lapse shot or video shots. However, this is also the most time-consuming, but it is the most high-quality one. So you get to choose the easy one that leaves artifacts or the high-quality one that leaves no artifacts, but is a little bit more time-intensive. And it uses After Effects, which I know not a lot of you use, but if you're serious about time-lapse, I seriously consider that you check out after Effects. I've got a lot of tutorials about it over there, explainer videos, etc. And now, wow, we're already here at the end of the video. I've got a couple things to ask you. First of all, want to learn more about time lapse? Check out my ebooks. You know the drill. If you sign up to my newsletter, you get a very nice discount. Links down below. Secondly, what's the second bit? If you want to show your appreciation for my relentless drive to share all of the knowledge I have about time-lapse and photography, consider joining the channel. It costs $1 a month, or while well, that's where the prices start. You can click the join button and voila, you get early access to videos, you get members only videos, you get a bunch more stuff, live streams, etc. Check it out. And then finally, Instagram. I'm at 83,000 followers on Instagram right now. I have stayed at 83, or I've actually shrunk from 85, for ages, it's super frustrating. I wanna to get to 100K this year. I don't really know how to do that besides asking you guys. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, please do. I'm at Matt Joes pretty much everywhere. What a waffle at the end here. I'm Belgian, that was a big Belgian waffle. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Hope you appreciated this video. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. See you on the next video. Goodbye.